Hey guys, this is Seth here with yet another Terraria episode. We're actually past 172 now. <laughs> yes, there are 172 episodes of Terraria now, as of this episode. Give or take, depending on how quickly... I really don't know what it's left. Um, like, other than the pyramid hunt, which we're doing right now... As far as I know, the only other thing... Is the underworld, I think, but even the underworld, from what I've seen in the under underworld, it really isn't that special. Um, it doesn't have really any new items in the, in the chest, so. It definitely seems to me like that B dungeon is probably going to be where we do hard mode at, to be quite honest. Um, I spawned right next to a uh, snow biome, apparently. But yeah, it's time to take a gander, see if there's any, uh, pyramids this time. I would really like this game, if there was a pyramid in this world. You can only find pyramids in deserts, by the way. You know, you can't find them anywhere else but deserts, so... Boy, this is a giant plateau. I wonder why it's like this. Yeah, whatever. As you can tell, I'm not really particularly... I'm not letting the map actually load up stuff. I'm actually letting it... You know... See, these caves... Parts right here are just baffling. See, what are... What is with these hilly structures? You know, it's baffling to me how the, yeah, the, uh, what is that? Oh, uh, okay. So, yeah, this desert does not seem to have anything in it either. this. Yeah, I, I don't see any sign of pyramid anywhere. There's definitely no sign of a pyramid. Pyramids are in exactly a triangular shape, by the way. Yeah, this desert definitely doesn't have it. Like I said, we'd know. Anyway, may as well just keep moving. Um, tree structure. Some of them don't particularly, whatever. Um, Nod structure there. Note that this is only the left side. There's still the right side to take a gander at. Well, this one's got corruption in it, huh? Okay then. I figured I'd drop down. Here, and fuck it. Oh, 
Honestly, though, from what I recall, the corruption doesn't have that much in terms of new stuff whatsoever. Actually, from what I can tell... From what I can tell, there really hasn't been much in the... Looks like the shadow orbs aren't even showing up. Something. Either that or just, no, they couldn't have gotten rid of it. Now we find the, uh, the uh, thing. Alright then. All I'm doing is I'm gonna just, just get the Eater Worlds to show up. Oh wow, look at this kind of luck. I don't think I've ever seen three Shadow Orbs right next to each other like this. Not a long time. Trying to get out of the uh, depths here. I figured I'd just spawn the Eater Worlds. You know, why not? say this boss does not look like it has anything new with it. Looks like all I did was get a bunch of demonite or same old stuff. Whatever. Then again there might be some rare drops now, but I'm not even gonna try to risk it. No point. I will take that stuff with me, I mean, why not? Either way, that's that. Another giant tree. Small... Desert is small. the old... what? Why did I just find a random... I just found an extremely random goblin sitting there. Seems legit. Another one. Why are they here? Is there a goblin army approaching or something? It'd be too early for that, though.
I really don't understand what's going on right now. Take that, and you know, I'm not gonna take the rope this time. All right now, time to go to the right and see what we got over here. We know the snow biome is this way, so. Okay, so we got that. And you know what's sad? I still have not seen a, a pyramid. I have not seen a single pyramid. I ended up collect collecting rope anyway, joy. That just figures, doesn't it? Giant biome too. Oh my God. Oh, well, we have yet another desert. Once again, it doesn't seem like it had anything. Of, uh... Once again, it does not seem like there was any, uh... It does not seem like there was any, uh... At this point, I really don't know what to say, like... It definitely seems to me like this is a very rare biome. Oh, hey. Go figure. stuff that I don't need. A rash shackle shackle. Alright, so This desert seems to be rather, uh, useless. Why is that there? I 
I really don't understand the point of that. Definitely having right now, so I can't see shit <laughs> because of the uh, nighttime environment of this game. You know, I've seen so many deserts, and not one of them contains a pyramid. I really do not understand how I could get so many deserts. Not one of them containing a freaking pyramid. It just boggles my mind. It really does. Anyway, if it comes to worse comes to worse and I can't, you know, find the meteorite, or not the meteorite, but the uh, pyramid, I'll just skip ahead to the uh, hard mode. It seems to be the trees are the same way, where they don't always spawn lower floor, but the thing is, I got a tree to do, a tree did that for me so much quicker than the damn pyramid did. Baffles me as to how the hell is this? Oh, okay. It's just a dungeon. Very awkwardly looking dungeon, though. Look, another desert. Wonder what the result is going to be. Especially with a freaking dungeon nearby. Nothing, of course. sun would come up, I can have better ideas to what I could literally see better on the see the deserts better. And there's our little meteorite friend. And right next to a corruption too, of course. Go figure. I really don't understand how the desert has such ridiculous formations. You know, and none of them have, like, this whole large world and not a single pla pyramid in them. That's just... This is reminds me of, you know, the floating islands back earlier on in the playthrough and how much I was struggling to find those, you know.
as you can see though, it goes pretty far down. There's definitely room for a pyramid to spawn, it's just... They won't spawn. But anyway, I guess... Make do with what we have and... Go try to see if we can do hard mode. The fact that I actually have better items now may very well come in handy. But basically, all that's going to be done is going to defeat the Wall of Flesh. Ugh. And then figure out how to get the hell into that freaking dungeon. That B dungeon, rather. So, delete this. Now, because I'm not carrying that much in the way of items, I don't need to take a break. Or not uh, take another pit stop. I don't need to do that. But as I said, I really don't freaking know. Like. I really don't know how I'm going to get into that. I, I guess what. The, I guess it's required to get hard mode. Because it's not so much that you. The enemies in there are going to be hard as shit. I mean, well, yeah, they're going to be hard as shit, but I mean, like, you're not going to be able to break in there without a good sword, so. With that in mind, we're back here. And now it's time to see just... What I can do here. Now, the question for me is where should I go? Where is the best opportunity to get to the. Okay, it's definitely the snow biome. Definitely the snow biome. So this time I'm not going to be looking for chests, but I'm just going to be going... I am going to try to get as far down as I can. <clears throat> Use the caves to my advantage. Okay. Luckily, now that I, since I've also had torches placed, this shouldn't be as difficult either. Like I said, everything's already laid out for me. It's just following it. And I should note, this doesn't guarantee I'm going to get the Wall of Flesh beaten, either. It really doesn't. I have better items now. But... Nothing in the way of, you know... Like, the Star Cannon wouldn't even be that beneficial at this point. You know, it, it's... I think... I've learned that the star can really can only do so much. I still can't resist getting hit by those, can I? Either way... Looks like for the most part I'm getting to where I need to get to, so... My question for me is where do I go from here? Wait, did I look into this chest? Yes, I did. You know what? There you go. May as well get that. Light with me is actually doing 
quite helpful. There you go, I just made a shortcut. That way I can get through here more quickly. Did I look in here? Yes I did. I think I was I just decided I was just gonna skip it and stuff. Oh, there's obsidian now. That wasn't even my intent. There's obsidian down here too, apparently. Alrighty then. Am I making a elevator? Not exactly. I'll tell you what I am doing, I'm making a route that'll be a lot better than the one I've been taking so far, so... That's for damn sure. the underworld right down there. Good thing I brought that shadow key with me, huh? I should have gotten. Oh, well, it won't matter anyway, because the demons sometimes drop guide, guide voodoo dolls and stuff, so. kind of exists still. And here's a shadow chest. So there's nothing in here that's worth taking except the gold coins. Though then again... City and workbench? Actually, let me put this on. Not immune to lava, but at the very least, the fire blocks won't be a problem. Anyway, getting rid of stuff yet again.
Did not mean to do that. Alright. Wait, I got a snowball launcher? When did I get that? I guess they automatically give it to you when you... Huh. Didn't expect to see that. But okay then. <laughs> Reason, reason I really haven't seen any uh any demons yet. Which is for some reason very strange to me. But in any case. Um, I forgot how few uh, shadow chests spawn in the, uh, in the world. They really didn't change the spawn rate of those as much, did they? I've only seen one, uh, one of them so far. Quite saddening. If it turns out the guy doesn't demon doesn't spawn with the guide voodoo doll. Um, speaking of which... Okay, let me... This is funk you. Okay then. I was certainly not expecting one to actually spawn as Funk You. <laughs> Alrighty then. Let me see if I have a brief moment to see. Damn it. How far. Okay, so there's still quite a bit of. Left, but I'm not even gonna. Not even going to bother. Alright. My cat's meowing again. Anyway, uh... There you go. What? Oh, wait a minute. I have to defeat all the other bosses first, don't I? Is 
if so, that's kind of stupid. Well, I've done... Let me think. I've done Brain of Cthulhu, I believe. I've done Skeletron. So there's only one thing I haven't done. Let me check to make sure this is true. I've done the Queen Bee. Um, I've done the Queen Bee. I've done the Brain of Cthulhu. I've done... Skeletron. So the Eye of Cthulhu is all that's left, isn't it? That's the only thing I could think of, other, other than the, uh, that one boss. I can't remember how you get that one. Yeah, I honestly don't know. God. Alright. Let me go and... Because I have an idea. I need to drop some stuff off anyway. Um... I'm going to get a suspicious looking eye. Um, I really don't know what else I'm going to do here though. I'm guessing I have to have beaten Skeletron, Eater World, and that. But I'm guessing in this case it's Skeletron, Brain of Cthulhu, and so and so. Like, I imagine those are the ones I need to beat. But I've also defeated the Queen Bee. Um, I've also defeated you know was it the uh queen bee brain of cthulhu skeletron as far as i know that one jungle boss is the only boss left i don't think i've beaten other than the eye of cthulhu um i'm rather surprised that that trick into doing what I needed it, what I needed to be done, didn't actually go well. But yeah, whatever. In any case, more ice. Guess we'll get rid of that slush block. It doesn't have much use, really. those two in the dungeon. I know where to put those instead. I said I'll just put the, uh... Bombs! All I, I swear I get nothing but those, don't I? Um... There we go. So... That's everything. There you go. So, as you guys can see, I, I, I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, admittingly, but that's more so because I just don't know what to do. Like, I don't know how to get the pyramids to go. Now I'm wondering if I'm missing... I need to do that jungle boss first. Before I can even think about the, uh... You know, the, uh... Wall of Flesh, which means... I need to do even more tasks... Than I thought I did. My... God... There's a lot more I gotta do for this than I thought. There's a suspicious looking eye right there. Whoop. Found a suspicious looking eye right there. So.
Alright. There's that. That. So I'm not looking for uh, floating islands now. I can put that away. Now all that remains is searching for where these uh, corruption items would go. I'm also going to take a guy voodoo doll with me so that way that's taken care of and I don't have to keep looking for one. Uh, where's... That item? There it is. Alright, and... Like me, I cannot remember where... They go. Were they here, actually? Demonite ore. Okay, lead ore. May as well just stick that in there for now. More demonite ore. <laughs> Let's just stick the shadow scales in there. Okay. Um, I th think that's everything. I'm gonna keep the keys with me, so there we go. Um, there's still something I'm unsure about, and it's how you spawn that one boss. Um, there's you need certain something to spawn it, but I can't remember. Um. And that is something I'm trying to contemplate right now. Because I was able to remember how to spawn the Brain of Cthulhu, but not the other boss. So I should probably look that up. For all I know, there could be good stuff that comes out of that boss, too. Um, as a matter of fact, that's probably what I'm going to go do in between recordings, is I'm probably going to look up the information. That's probably the only information I can actually look up in relation to 1.2 right about now, so... Anyway, the sun's going down. Okay. Can't do much about that. Actually, better yet, while I'm waiting for... Hmm... All night time approaches. I'll go ahead and uh what's the word I'm looking for. Um I'll go ahead and search for the information, so be right back. <laughs> 